and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Fantasy Star. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and it's time for us to start heading into probably the most complex dungeon or so in the game. And it's probably one of the, it's the longest, I think, for sure. So hopefully we do okay, but I sold off certain items that are buyable and for areas we're never going to revisit, specifically like the Ice Digger and a few other things. So that way we can make some room for where we're headed. Because that's right, we're trekking our way, getting our way, in a sense, to endgame. And it's still a bit of a trek, but we're not far off. So, just as an example, we really only have one major dungeon left, followed by, like, a, a couple small little ones to get us from place to place. Um, so, nothing too major. We just gotta make our way to these locations. We've got a mini boss fight that we gotta do. And we'll see how far we can get before we get to the next section. But stocking up on healing items is paramount if you expect to actually get through this area. I'm going to start skipping fights if we need to. And then, you know, talking to the locals and stuff gave us a pretty strong idea of where we need to actually go. So, that'll be good. Alright, so here we are in um, the uh, prison here. That's north of Scion. You know what? I'm doing this fucking wrong. Open. There we go. <laughs> fucking magic doors. Um, we're going to start running into that, but we're going to try to circumvent it because we don't want to burn through all of our magic here. So, oh, especially um, Noah's magic. Sorry, I just had a zone out moment. I'm like, wait, what am I missing? And I'll explain why that kind of played out kind of awkward. It'll all make sense in a, in a few minutes here. But as you can see, we're just making our way casually through here. And we're going to run into a mini f boss fight here that we can't get around. And I'll explain why, just to save us the time. Do you have the rope pass? If you say yes, he'll tell you it's a counterfeit and throw you in jail. If you say no, you got to fight him. So we don't have a choice but to really fight him, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and fight him here. And all we're going to do is use melee attacks. We don't really want to use anything else. Because he's going to go down pretty quick. It wasn't so bad. We're going to keep moving on. As we have to make our way now to the northeast here until we reach a cave. Per se. And there's another boss in the cave, but you can actually skip that boss in its entirety, and I recommend that you do. It's a repeat of a boss fight from earlier in the game. Um, I remember fighting him as a kid and getting kind of bitter because I wasn't as strong as I am now, and I burnt through all my... Not all of my goods, but I burnt through, like, a small chunk of goods. And by the time I got through the end point of the main dungeon, I was like, I'm short on stuff, and I had to... And I died when I was a kid, so I was a little bitter about that. So yeah, that's a thing. And like I said, this big dungeon we're going to is pretty much Satan's anus. It's it's a maze from the depths of hell. And you almost regret going in it. I, I, I can't stress that enough. You really do. So we're going to head across. Now, we don't want to go south. Which would be like if we were facing north when we entered the, the dungeon. We went west and we could have gone south. We don't want to go that way for any reason whatsoever. 
because that's where he hides out. He's in somewhere down there. I forget the specifics of where. Let's go ahead and use the hovercraft. Let me find it here. There it is. I believe that should get us over the lava, lava safely. We, but not out of the battles. All right, let's keep moving. Ooh. Gotta get out of the ship, I guess. Could probably take a little damage. Nope. All right, now we gotta make our way right to that dungeon just south of us here. All right, let's keep moving here. So this dungeon we have to be insanely careful in. So let's get to it. First things first, we need to open this magic door. And there's two areas we have to somehow reach. So let's get to it. So first thing is, and I'm going to walk us through it as best as I can here. Walk you guys through it as best I can. I'm going to make a left and fight a centaur. All right, so we made a left from the entrance. And we're going to make a right. And we're going to make another left and then another right. And then we're already on the right track. From here, it's a straight beeline to where we need to go. All right, let's keep moving. And we have to go through several hallways, and you'll know you get to the right place because you're gonna bump into a, a little scenario thing that takes place. And don't worry, it's not like a boss fight or anything. All right. Again, this is a straight move. Oh, God damn it. All right, let's keep going. Straight on. Long hallway, but it's still a straight arrow. But there is a little thing you got to prepare for here. Don't worry, it's nothing major. Unless you run into some nasty enemies, which is marauders, I think, are still a thing. So we'll need to be worry, worry. We'll need to worry a bit about them if they show up. All right, let's keep going. No, we don't want to open it. We want to use is it meow or Nova. I know meow has it. So we need to use meow. Yeah. A trap? And it's empty, so yeah, that would have been a trap. Let's keep moving here. Which will take us to the next room. Alright, let's keep going here. Great Damor, soothsayer, do you believe in my prophecies? Uh, I believe so. Good. You're searching for something. Yes, good. You are searching for Alex Osail. Good. So it is correct. Yes, then coming in. Oops, that's not what we wanted. Um. No. Wait a minute. It's a pattern here. I forget what they are. Because we, we heard about some of this. Yes. I always forget how this works. Do you believe in my prophecies? Yes. My prophecies, good. Are you searching for something? Yes. Searching for, uh, yes. No. No. You're promising young lass. I will give you a man. Okay, good. Oh. oh boy. Yeah, we got it. All right, so we're done here. Let's make sure it's in our inventory before we leave. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What are we doing health-wise? We should use... Two Boigas, one on Alice, and one on, what's Noah's full health? Uh, 172, huh? We'll leave it alone for now. All right, so let's go ahead and get the hell out of this dungeon. Now, you can go back to town if you want. I think we're okay, so we're going to keep going. Because we can pick up a few things, in a sense, along the way, though, as we're going to burn through another open here. That says, well, that's again, it's okay. So we're going to now get to the end of this dungeon. We're going to take the hallway here. 
We're gonna skip this right because that's the way we want to go, but I'm gonna like, restock our burgers here If we can do it easily and without burning any more MP unnecessarily We're gonna need all the healing we can get and we as long as we don't Trek too far off the beaten path. We can grab a few of these things All right, no biggie. Let's keep moving and so from here we're gonna make a right and then this left here and then we'll just follow. Oop, didn't mean to go that far down. Well, I think we're actually in the right spot, but an enemy popped up. All right. And then we go left, and then right. And this should lead us. Oop, should lead us to a door. Yep. Whee! All right, let's keep moving. As we head down. Now we're going to make a right at this intersection just so we can get a treasure. Yeah, no more opening of chests from enemies. No more. That was an explosion and made me very angry. <laughs> so we'll head back and then we'll keep moving here. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so here is a little bit of an area where you can get lost kind of easily, but not too bad. Go this way and up. Oh, crap. Keep moving here. The cake is a lie. It's just money, I think. Oh, god damn it, really? Alright, so we beat him. Let's keep moving, shall we, before shit gets weirder. I believe it is a right. If I'm wrong, it was a left, and we'll backtrack if we need to. Alright. Go down, and we need to make a. Okay, a right, yeah. So we went the right way. Whew. And then from here we need to make another right. And god damn it. Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, good. We're still going the right way. I'm just I'm I'm nervous because I'm afraid of going the wrong way. But if we need to escape, we have the flute, so it's not a big deal. So from here we're gonna make a left to get the other relevant item in this dungeon. Alright, so let's move all the way to the end of this hallway. Keep moving. And we get the miracle key. Yeah, or whatever it is. But I should have disarmed the chat. Let me heal up here really quick, guys. Alright, so from that chest, we're going to take... Okay, we're going to make a right. And then I want to say... We just follow this... Ah, fuck. Alright, let's keep moving. Or not. Alright, let's move. At least try to get a little further in this room. Oh, shoot. Um, er, I think it's... No, it can't be that way. Let me take a step back here. God damn. Okay. Took a step back. I think it's this way. Which was a left from where we were if we were going down that hallway. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. All right. If this isn't a door here, then I went the wrong way. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right. We should be good, yeah. So, up and around. To the end. And then a left. And a right. So, I'm skipping a bunch of chests because they are very much unnecessary. All right. Okay. Take this all the way to the end. And we'll make a left, I think, at the next junction. Should again take us to another door. And then this should be a straight arrow. And if it is, we are on the right path. Yes, it's a straight arrow. Whew. All right, let's keep going. Okay, weird room, but don't worry. We'll get through. There's nothing interesting in these other er, in this area, so that we just moved to. So there's only one right way and a bunch of wrong ways that lead to nothing but pain and suffering because of the random encounter rate. All right, and then if we make a right, we should reach a stairwell, I believe. We all right, but we're not done yet. We're gonna ignore that and we're gonna go here. 
And you can see this is a magic door, but remember that item we picked up? The miracle key? We use it. And now we don't have to use magic to open up the sealed doors. One of the things is once you get these two items, you could technically go back to the town and recover, but you kind of have to make your way back through here. We may have to make a second trip through here um, just because I burned through a lot of HP due to chest explosions, but I'm going to see if we can do it and then we'll figure the rest out later. All right, let's keep going. All the way to the end and then all the way up and it puts us back on course, I believe. Okay, sweet. Fuck. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's keep killing. Alright. Okay. Oh, man. Just My head is hurting from this dungeon because it's just so massive. That's what she said. Oh, god damn it. Almost there, guys. For what it's worth. Okay, um... From here, I want to say... Oh, god damn it, now let me think. This is the weird floor, if I'm not mistaken. God damn it, no! Alright. Believe that is a lie. And then it should be here, and then I think it's a straight arrow from here on out, guys. At least to the next, uh... Area. Oh, shit, where am I going? It'd be pretty, pretty much a straight bird till the next little area here. Alright, let's keep going. Yay! Okay. So we're going to grab a couple burgers here, because we can, and we, we pretty much need them, so we may as well not fight too much over this concept. Alright. Believe they're burgers. We're going to find out real quick here if I, my memory's right. Good. Oh. So much frustration. Alright. Now we're gonna head back the way we came. All right. So a left would take from here would take us the direction we need to technically go, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go down here. Yeah, I went too far down. I know I went one spot too much because we have to make a right here. Whoop. And should be a straight arrow to another chest. I hope it's not trapped. My memory's not that good about whether some whether or not some of these were trapped. Alright. Cool. Okay. I think we'll risk getting one more. Just to be safe. And then we'll move on to the next area if we can. And just as a heads up, when I say next area, it's the stairways that I'm looking for, really. Alright. Sweet. Now we can go back the way we came. Oh, no. All right. So now it's a right, left, right for a little bit. <laughs> and then a right 
And then... Oh, come on. Alright, and then it should be a right... And a straight... Okay, um... There... Yes! Okay, I didn't get turned around. And we needed those burgers, so it worked out. No, oh, no! Uh-oh. We fell somewhere. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, let's keep moving. I fell somewhere. And I hope I... Th okay, we're good. We're still good. Alright. I forget... series of doors. I think that was the only trap, but I could be wrong. Too excited. And then nuts, use your nuts. Man, I gotta take a crap. <laughs> when Meow eats the nuts of Larma, he becomes clothed in flame and emits a blinding light. When he is visible again, he has been transformed into a beautiful winged beast. Meow, meow flaps his wings proudly. And thus we get kind of a boss fight here. But again, you want to conserve as much MP as possible. No questions asked. We're just hoping for the best outcome here. This is all we can literally do. That's nasty, but we should be able to knock him out. Here. Oh, he healed himself. Come on. No! Come on, guys. Damn it! Keeps healing himself. Got him! Oh! Woo! Hey! <laughs> and now we are in the land of the Celestials. Don't go into any of the houses here. There is no point in any way, shape, or form for you to even bother with it. Just freaking keep walking. Keep moving that ass. Oh! Oh boy! We're getting there, guys. But that is a beastly little run right there. That takes a lot of focus and oh crap. Alright, let's move. This place isn't too complex. You just don't want to waste too many times taking the long way to get to stairways and stuff like that. So, not a very complex dungeon, but still a deadly one if you're not really that prepared. So, don't, don't go right. It's the long way around. Alright, let's keep moving. No! Alright, let's keep going. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. 
this I think is a left. Banking on this being right. If it's not, it's a long freaking walk to get to it. So we got a backtrack, I think, in this floor. If you get it wrong. Cool. Just keep making lefts. And if you really feel like you need to conserve, run away from fights. There's, If you're over 25, you should be relatively okay. This as a last resort kind of thing. All right. And if we get to a door in here, we know we're going the right way. Ugh, I ran away from that one, I'll be honest. I ran away from that one. <laughs> This one too. Screw that. Okay. Um, locked door. Let's. Uh, my memory serves me right. Something nasty is coming up. So let's heal Odin. No, you know what? We're gonna heal everyone. Let me just heal up with Alice, because it's going to take me a little bit of MP to do this. Alright, let's do this. So everybody's healed up to mostly full. I know Noah's like 7 HP short, but I think we'll be okay. The next boss hits really hard, and keeping our HP high is important, and we don't want to burn magic attacks on him. I have watched all your actions. Attack me now if you dare, Shadow. So we need to burn him quick. So luckily he didn't... I think, I think he has a stronger attack than that. That or we're just decked out really well, but... Pretty sure he hits harder than that. Come on. And after we beat him, we still got more frickin' floors to cover here, so we're not out of the woods yet. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes! Okay, we lucked out hard. But I'm only Lasix Shadow. Even if you defeat me, you've gained nothing at all. Ooh. Alright, so this is a straight hallway to the next floor. Aww. And they're not straight hallways going back. They're actually mirror copies, I believe, of the floors we've already passed, but in reverse order, so it's a pain in the ass. You know, fuck this dude. Oh, god damn it. Fuck this. Oh my god, no! Get out of there. There we go. It ain't worth it. He's totally worth it. Because he's, like, harmless. No, I don't want the treasure. Yeah, it's just the Marauders and, and aren't and the Reapers aren't worth fighting because they'll just AOE target everybody if they get the chance to and screw up your entire shit, so. We're almost there, guys. We are on the back end of this of this dungeon. There's a long ass pair of dungeons that you can't warp to or anything like that. You have to do them back to back, much like the Mirage Tower and the floating castle in Final Fantasy. You just have to do them kind of in that order so it should be now right for the most part that was a success successful run we'll fight this guy all right and then again same deal horseman will just fight this dude Oops, I forgot to skip this. Oh well, we killed him anyway. <laughs> Sorry guys, skip it for you, not for me. Alright. No reason to run from him. They're not the horsemen aren't that dangerous. And if we can level from it, we may as well try to. It's just the Reapers and Marauders that aren't worth the effort. In all fairness, again, we're making some more rights. Making some more right decisions. Because we need to have a magician. Alright. Okay. Whew, okay, I think this is the final floor. So it's a right. Oh no! Alright, let's keep moving. 
Oh, you ever take a shit and regret it? I had one of those. No, oh, no. Alright, let's keep moving. Yes. Okay, guys, here we go. Hold on to your butts, and if you're really hot, hold on to mine. Ah, uh, my children, you have done very well to come this far. You are very lucky indeed. Do you really wish to kill an old man? Yes, absolutely. All right, then we will forget this as an unfor we will f as an unfortunate mistake. Sorry. All right, so boss time. We'll use magic because it's a guaranteed hit from her, and then we'll use wind. And we're just hoping for the best. Heal Noah. Noah's gonna be our probably our primary damage dealer next to Odin. Just as a heads up. Oh no! We just we don't want this battle to drag on too long at all. So You notice he attacks before we do as well, so that's problematic. Ah! Come on, we're almost there. Out of magic. Noah. Come on, hopefully one of the two melee fighters get a hit in there. Ooh, fire. Now we, we are relying on this now. They have to hit him. Come on, guys. I believe in you! There's a hit. There's a hit. Come on. Hang in there. I know it might go down. So close. No, we need uh, meow. Oh, he can't heal now. We're going in. Balls deep, y'all. Come on, somebody hit him. Yes! Oh, my nipples are so hard right now. As Elastic's body's on the floor, Elastic has died. Alice accomplished her wish. Nero is satisfied now in heaven. Hurry to the governor. Oh, I almost crap my pants. All right, so first things first, let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Now there's some good news and some bad news. The bad news is we got to make our way all the way back to the first town to heal and grab some goods and, and, and whatnot. Um, and we will get out of here via warping again, so don't worry about that too much. But um, we don't have MP to get us back to town, so we kind of have to go through uh, some small stuff here. Uh... We And look at that. Oh, I guess I thought for some reason I thought I had to walk all the way back here. We lucked out. Okay, good. Oh, so we made it. We made it in one piece. So I'm going to heal up. I'm going to buy and refill our inventory with burgers and all that good stuff. And we'll see you as soon as I'm done. All right, so I'm making an executive decision to uh, finish out the episode here by by going to end game. So let's do it, guys. Um, so we burgered up, we healed up, we saved, and now we need to get to uh, Motavia here, to the main city of Motavia, with, on Motavia. And we need to kind of finish things out. So we finished our quest that the governor sent us on. So, that's some good stuff right there, if I do say so myself. Oh, crap. Okay, so, never mind. We have to go the old-fashioned way here. So, we gotta go to Gothic. And take our own ship. So, let's go. let me get to Gothic really quick, guys. Alright, we're in Gothic here. Well, 
if Dr. Luvino sent you, I guess you all have to let you... No shit, Sherlock. When has this changed, my friend? When has this changed? Alright, so we need to head to Yuso. Let it go, cause yeah. I'm not gonna skip ahead. I'm gonna let you guys kind of enjoy our last little flight to a degree. Yeah, you can hear my stomach making noise. I'm having some some backlogging issues. Um, all right, so let's head out of Yuzo, and we now need to make our way all the way to um, the governor's palace um, in, uh, what's the name of that town again? Uh, Paseo, so I'll meet you guys there. All right, we are here in Paseo, and we are now making our way back to the mansion here. Palace, whatever you wanna call it, mansion palace, doesn't really matter. We shouldn't we don't need any healing so the blue building if you need to heal you can here we'll just as a demonstration that's something strange where's the governor I wonder whoo and we fall oh no what could it mean what could it mean and it's really just a straightforward dungeon it feels long, but it's not because it is a straightforward. There's no, there is a branching path, but it's really just a donut path. So you would just keep doing laps if you don't take the offshoot. So really, this isn't much of a dungeon. But considering what we just went through, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all, and nor should you. So let's keep moving here. Now there are enemies down here, so you may deal with them. I would say you don't use any magic whatsoever. We've got a complete burger load. And this is only this thing is only three floors, and we're already get about to pass the first floor here, so we're in good shape for what's ahead, because we haven't fought in anything yet. Whoa! Let's keep moving. Again, another straightforward area. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just probably doors. All right, and probably you may not need to run from anything because we have a lot of burgers. All right. Keep going here. Doopy doop 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 doop. Doopy doop 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 doop. Running, running, running. Keep that asshole running. Running, running. Good friends, run fast. Okay. God damn it. Alright, keep going. Alright. Might just start running just to make this move a little faster. We're pretty far. I checked our stats, and we're I think we're pretty far from leveling. Oop. So that may not be beneficial to us to bother. We'll see. Might fight a few. I don't know. I haven't committed to anything yet. But, you know. Gotta conserve those burgers. And I, I think we're pretty far out from leveling. So if we were to fight enemies, what's the point, right? We're not going to level. We're not getting money out of them. We don't need the money. So, all right. We're still on the second floor here, but we should be getting somewhere soon with this, you would think. Son of a bitch, I just ran from you. Ah. Sometimes murder is your only resort. Okay... Oh wow, this is nuts. Luckily we're dodging like ninjas. Seriously? Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this guy the old fashioned way. Uh, okay. And we fall again, finally, the final floor. We'll make a right here. 
Because we had two options to go, but both ways will lead you the right way. Which is an offshooting path. I think is hidden? God damn it. Okay, let me see here. Uh no! Why do you torture me so, Centaur? There it is. Alright, yeah, it's a kind of a weird door because you just keep walking around in a circle, but if you actually face it, the door will show up, but you can't see it on the wall as you're walking, so it's kind of in that realm where some people go, that's a little bullshitty. Uh, it's going to happen. Alright, so here we are at the final doorway. Let's burger up. Let's give us them plus-size calories, baby. Because we're going to need all the MP. Not just some of it, all the MP. So everybody's getting a full heal. We should have enough burgers to do this, by the way. We should even have some left over. Yeah, we might have, we might have some left over. Yeah, we, we should be fine. Odin was in. Let's give the other ones to Noah just to get him closer to his. Two more burgers and we're full. No joke, full health. No one hundred and ten thousand percent. And Odin. So everybody's full health, full MP. Hold on to your butts, and if you're cute, hold on to mine. Let's do this. Odin says me. I'm so worried he's gonna murder me. Oh my god, it's the alien Hulkster. All right, so. What you need to know about this fight is that it's not too bad, but you, there's no HP if you notice right out the door. So really, the only thing you're hoping to do is just max out your damage by any means possible. So we'll use fire for Alice because it kind of protects from there being a miss. We'll help Odin because Odin has nothing but fighting and then Meow's going to have to probably heal every round. And then I would say uh, just wind the crap out of him because thunder is just an AOE attack. Wind is single target. So, and I believe it, ooh, he gets to hit us twice, and I think in a round. So, yep. You know, as I want attack against no is pretty nasty. Oops, so fire, fucking cure Noah. Attack and win, and hopefully he doesn't get a hit in there. Noah, because Noah is gonna do the most, still probably doing the most damage between him and Odin. But it's hard to—you don't know how much damage you're doing, so it's really just a guess. It's really just your best guess work. Guess work. Attack. Hit me out, he can take it. No, maybe not. Oh no! Um We might have to have Noah get a heal in there, maybe. Let's cure Meow and see how he does. But that that's a that sucked. Come on, get him. No! Oh good. Here, meow. Who? Might need to have Alice burger someone up. Oh, that's right, but she's only gonna burger herself. Um, we're just hoping for the best, guys. Here, Noah. We can't let Noah got die. Odin, he's dispensable at the moment. And if hopefully he hits Alice or Meow. Or Noah too, that works. As long as it doesn't kill him. And this is our last cure, ladies and gentlemen. So now it's just hoping for the best. 
we can't use another his key. We can't use his key anyway. Um. Yeah, hit Alice. He hasn't been attacking Alice at all. Fucking asshole. Probably should have healed Odin now that I think about it. Burger up. Hit at Alice. Let's get Odin back in this fight, even though that 40 HP is probably not going to help him that much. Luckily, he's finally focusing on Alice, who's holding on to his... taking his attacks rather well. Got him! Yes! We lucked out pretty good on that. Dark Falls is killed. And we were around level 25, to give you an idea. I'm sorry, I must have been possessed body and soul by evil. You rescued our world just in the nick of time. If you had come any later, it might have been too late. We all thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Alice, your father was once king of Algol. The Dark Castle has been destroyed. Lassic killed. Do you, Alice, wish to ascend your father's throne and become queen of Algol? Frickin' A. Then you are the very queen of the entire system. I will assist you in all ways possible. Sweet! The sky gradually clears. And the peace is... And the peace is returned to the Algol system. A gentle breeze caresses Bea Malay. Bea Malay! But does the breeze knows of the hardships that they endure? No, of, no of the hardships. You, ah, English! Alice. Odin. Noah, uh, also known as Lutz, by the way, I believe is his actual Japanese name. I could be wrong, though. And dinner. Delicious dinner. Even though the memories of evil fade away, their names will be kept in the hearts of the people of the of the Algol forever. You mean the Algol system? Oh, my God. It's up there with congratu congratulations. So there it is, guys. Oh, Fantasy Star 1 for the Sega Master System. Not the Genesis, it, the system that came before it. The Nintendo equivalent. Um, so, story by April Fool. Uh, so, this is the first game in a series of uh, space science, you know, science fiction fantasy space games. And my answer to um, this game is really that the story is very minimalistic, much like now, in all fairness, Final Fantasy 1 was middle, middle, minimalistic, but at least it was more in-depth than this, this game. Uh, the battle system is very a la Dragon Quest 1. The running around the dungeons is obviously in the first-person view, um, which changes, I believe, in all other... Fantasy Star games after that. They don't do this anymore for good reason because this was pretty bland back then and there was a lot of different things that were going on and things that were changed and so on and so forth. But Fantasy Star to me um, is a very niche game. It's a very hard game to sit through. Um, there was a Japanese remake of it on PlayStation 2 that only came out in Japan um, and it's m a much better version of this game. If you really, really want to play the entire franchise, I'd, re I'd recommend that version over this one. This game obviously did not age well. It's got a lot of English translation issues. Um, it's got a lot of other problems with it mechanically and functionally, but it's not a bad game. For those of you wondering how I navigated those dungeons, um, just as a heads up, and I'll be honest with you, I still have my notes from when I was a little kid. And did some of that. So that I, I actually dug them out for the last dungeon. Because I really needed it there. But I, I, I had marked that there were chests in places. But I didn't know what was in them except for a few. Because I actually wrote what they were. Because I needed them. Um, but there's a, I have a soft spot for this version of the game. Um, it's nostalgic for me. This is definitely not a good game by today's standards. Um, but if you are a, a purist. Uh, you want to play a whole 
you know, RPG series legit from beginning to end. The Fantasy Star 1 is here in this version. There's also a Game Boy Advanced remake, but it's still more in vain to the... It's still more in style to the original release, not the remake in, on the PS2. So, with that said, do I recommend Fantasy Star as a series? I'm not going to give that answer until we get through more Fantasy Star. But I will say that Fantasy Star, the events of Fantasy Star 1, will be mentioned in later Final Fantasies. And there are characters who will be brought back in to various games. And I believe... Fantasy Star 2 takes place like a thousand years after Fantasy Star 1 or something like that. We get all that information once we start playing at some point. Fantasy Star 3 goes through the takes through takes you through three different generations of characters. Not kidding. So that's easily another 100 years at least. Maybe maybe 150 years, maybe even more. And then the final one is called End of the Millennium. And again, it's even further into the future. It's something like that. I forget the actual distances between the four games, but they are technically canon to each other. And as the series continues, they all start to make more sense with each other. But now that we've completed Fantasy Star, we have nothing to worry about, and we will be um, tackling uh, this franchise a bit further, because I really like 2 and 4. 3 is kind of weird. Um, mechanically, it's kind of lame, but if you can get past its lame mechanics issues and visual issues that it had, it's not too bad. But we're going to be definitely tackling Fantasy Star 2 and Fantasy Star 4. And I will tackle Fantasy Star 3 just out of persistence of completing the franchise. And all the Fantasy Stars after that have very little to do with the original storyline. They're very loosely connected. Um... My memory of those stories are pretty pretty bad, so I do apologize on that part. But Fantasy Stars 1 through 4 are a wonderful little adventure, especially if you can get through the whole series. 1's a really hard sit. 3's kind of a harder sit as well. But it's not harder than Fantasy Star 1, in my opinion. It's just slower than Fantasy Star 1, and it's way more drawn out. Um, and then Fantasy Stars 2 and 4 are legit good JRPG games that are everything you want them to be. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG Butt Guy. And when we come back, I'm not sure what I'm going to start recording next. Maybe Fantasy Star 2. I haven't really decided, so don't don't think, don't think jump to any conclusions or anything. So yeah, anyway, so I don't know what's coming up next. I'll have to think of what we're going to do. I've thought about a few things. I haven't committed to anything yet. So, And I do want to say that, what do I rate this? I rate this at like a 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10 for modern day. If you're wearing your nostalgia goggles... I rate it maybe a 6 out of 10. It's above average when it came out. It was it was something it was the competitor to Dragon uh, Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy 1 and Mother 1 for what it's worth and this was another option and those were the four huge JRPGs of their time. And each one of them is very 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 different. Maybe I'll tackle Dragon Quest 1 on uh, the NES version of it. That way I could say I've done all the original. Because I've done Mother 1. So I've done, I could do Mother 1. I've done Final Fantasy 1. I've done Fantasy Star 1. Maybe I should do uh, Dragon Quest 1. I haven't decided and I don't know when I'm going to decide what's going to be next. But we'll take a look. We'll see what goes on and all of that good stuff. So again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG Guy. Like, comment, and subscri subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash jacktardstudios. And again, if you made it this far, I can't thank you guys enough for enduring this very monotonous game for the sake of exploring the rest of this series. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.